Hello my crafty friends, it's Marie from Marie's Vermont Creations and it is day 22 of the Countdown to Christmas card series with Michelle from Scrap Secrets. And the theme for today was shadow stamping or stenciling. So I'm going to do some shadow stamping. I have never done this before, so this is my first time. I am using some Distress Oxide, some white pigment ink, and the stencil, not stencil, the background die and stamp set from honeybee stamps with this large merry 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 background um so i've die cut that out of some old stampin up paper i think this has um little polka dots on it on a white background and i am backing it with some red like shimmery paper it's um glossy red paper so that way i didn't have to inlay all the letters I didn't have to cut it out again um, I'm just gonna back it this way and then in the thumbnail you'll see I did two extra cards off screen with the fallout pieces from this one and then I cut them out one more time um, out of some stripe cardstock so I was able to get three different cards out of this one project so I didn't show making the other ones but it's a similar process except I put in all of the um, letters I had to place them all in and so I have glued this down to this piece of paper and then I am going to take those fallout centers of the R's and glue those in so that they don't look weird. Some people leave it like that. It's just not my preference. So I like to put the, the inset pieces back in. Um, so once, and I, I cut most of that out. I didn't want you to watch me put all of these little pieces in. So I do the first two and then move along um, for the rest of them. And then we will move on to the shadow stamping portion of this. And I'm going to use my Misty, and I'm really glad I did. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened to the Mary word in this set. Um, the Y seems to be damaged, dirty. I'm not really sure. You'll see in just a second when we get to stamping. But I had to stamp this multiple times to get a halfway decent um covering so I'm just going back and gluing the you know bits and pieces that were kind of poking up that didn't get enough glue just so that they don't catch and rip when the recipient gets the card so I'm just going to set that off to the side and I'm going to take out the solid Mary there is an open one but I took out the solid one um, I think this is easier to do with a, a more solid image but like I said this is my first time giving it a try. So I'm going to put this in my Misty with just a scrap piece of cardstock and I am going to stamp this using the Distress Oxide and it was... I don't even remember the color and it's sitting right there and I'm trying to think of the name of it. Rustic Wilderness is the name of the Distress Oxide. <laughs> Oh boy. Um, so I'm going to stamp this multiple times with my Misty off screen. I cleaned it thinking it was dirty and I, I think there just might be some scratches into it. So I'm not really sure. I'm, I just think it might be an unfortunate situation that I have. Um, and then once I get the green stamped, I am going to clean the stamp and shift it over to the right a little bit so that it is just barely off the edge of what I have already stamped. And I am going to stamp that a few times with the white pigment ink and that gives you this shadow look to your stamp and it's actually really cool at first I didn't think it worked and then when I pulled it out I was like oh yeah you can really see the definition so this works with um, stencils as well if you stencil one color and then shift it over to the left or the right and then stencil it or and then ink it up with white you'll get that same shadow effect so while I'm working on that, just thought I'd talk to you about the series. So it is day 22. I cannot believe that we're getting ready to wrap this up. Um, it has been amazing. I love this series. I've been working with Michelle from Scrap Secrets. If you're new, we bring two videos a week, Mondays and Fridays um, for 25 projects. We've This is the second year, so you will have essentially 100 projects, um, inspiration. They are cards, bags, boxes, tags, gift card holders. Um, we've done Cricut projects. There's been a wide variety of things, a little bit of everything for everyone. Um, so definitely check it out. I will link Michelle's channel down below so that you can see what she did with the 
shadow stamping or stenciling. Um, this is definitely something she has done before. This was one of her picks for the series, so I can't wait to see what she creates. I will also have the playlist listed at the end of this um, so that you can catch up if you're missing any of the videos. And I want to thank everyone who has recently subscribed to my channel or everyone that has subscribed to my channel and the, its duration of my of my channel. I have finally reached um, over a thousand subscribers and I am beyond grateful um, for everyone to help me reach that goal. And so there definitely will be an additional prize from me for this giveaway at the end of this series. So make sure to comment and let me know, you know, leave me a comment about anything. You have a question, make a comment, doesn't matter. Um, and I will randomly select uh, comments from videos that I choose that are from this series. So the more you comment, the more likely it is you have a better chance of winning. So I did trim that Mary um, sentiment out that I stamped and I glued it down in the middle of my panel using some liquid glue. And I'm just going to take the Christmas sentiment from this matching stamp set, the coordinating stamp set, and I, st I ink that up using the VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. And I will take the coordinating little die and tape that down because I'm famous for shifting them. Um, if I don't tape them down and I'm going to run that through my bitty buzz cutter and then get that adhered down and then I will take the finished card panel and attach that to an A2 size card base side folding and that is going to complete my project so like I said definitely take and check out the thumbnail that will have the three cards that I did. I did them all in one picture. Um, so you could check all of those out to see the different varieties that I did. If I'd have been thinking, I'd have I filmed and showed you them at the end, but I was picking up and decided that I should do other cards instead of just throwing away all of these letters. So I did it kind of after the fact. Um, and I just, oh, I will try um, and I will post it on my Instagram page as well and the link for that is in the description box below um, so that if you wanted to see a bigger picture of the three cards you definitely could do that um, if you have any questions definitely feel free to let me know also make sure to check out Michelle's channel so you can see what she created and um, feel free to leave me a suggestion of things you'd like to see in 2025 I'm always open to recommendations from viewers I greatly appreciate everyone's interactions and feedback um, it helps me to know what people are interested in. And I do more than card making, so if there are things that you'd like to see um, other than paper crafting, definitely let me know. But that is the project for today, and I hope that you have a great day.